with you and now I don't know where I am or how I got here I've got a splitting headache does anyone hear me base do you copy are you there Damage to the suit or bone structure. Just <clears throat> this headache. for a moment my receiver's dead but the transmitter may still be working the mission. Just like I thought. Nothing. <laughs> I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected either. if the past me hasn't failed the present me and let's hope she took notes are we on Regis 3? doesn't ring any bells and my crew have no way to tell me so I report that I have no recollection of this planet the last thing I remember hang on We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Oh, am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. Two landers to the surface. Don't usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me. 
took a different route. Leading to... Right! I was heading straight to the camp. You must be somewhere near. Give me a sign! Send up a flare, the probe! Anything! Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. Hey, crocodile. Where are you? That has an interesting shape of a crocodile indeed. We have the first one. I need one more. I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. I'm checking another object, which also doesn't match. Oh, focus. Bingo! I found the dog! report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. see our ship. You're not leaving without me, are you? I'm in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. Hmm. I think that's my rope. It didn't just fall out of the backpack, so apparently I didn't have time to collect it before I... Well, fell. on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Huh. There's water on this desert planet. Hmm. Or well, another liquid that did not allow the biosynosis to fall. Won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember, third rule. 
He might be awake, but my brain is still in the fridge. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. Clearly, your sense of humor was first awake. Now, try to get up slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Here, take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. <sighs> Kovel, will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Astrogator. Debating chamber in 15 minutes. Uh, this can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. to the valley, leading more or less towards the camp. But I can't go this way.
Time to go. This area is volcanically active. Ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky's clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. in a straight line. I, I see you. Can you hear me? Oh well. If it catches me, so be it. This suit will hold. I just need to get down from here. the rope. I'm reporting that I'm starting my descent. I'll be at the bottom soon.
Visibility could be better. Maybe I should wait. closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But I don't remember it. Did, did I black out again? Put closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. Remember you, Regis' third satellite. Astrogator, sir, crew. Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. Uh, wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. 
At least some microbes, and yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the word of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps are, Doctor. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae... But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analyses? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun's seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Coble, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate. Concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean. Together with its crew of almost a hundred men. Professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched. But the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right. But where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay. Uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. <laughs> Astrogator, please. How much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Koval. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage, feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry, not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Artie to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you too. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator! Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis III, if any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here?
Oh, thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. I is anyone out there? Oh, it's just an Androbot. Androbot! Stop! Androbot, stop! reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. Oh, maybe if I... RT? Default position. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna examine him now. Hello, anyone there? I repeat, Crowter is in a serious condition. Excuse me. Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing, one, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther at the camp. And he's not well. What happened to him? I... I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse two. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, doctor. Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders. And there were no visible injuries. So, I'd test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. Hello? 
Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector, to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. For the detector. Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broke. Okay, checked. I'm leaving the tent. Responsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowther. I have everything I need, just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna? What are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart that Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. find the extra relay. All right, we'll come back to it later. Our people have waited long enough. No, no point in going back this way.
I've gone over everything in that area. Found the area marked by Dr. Crowther. There's no one around. I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send Hopper, sir. to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and I haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area as well, but before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Mm, right. Anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds in... It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Geological cross-section? Measurements? These are Merritt's notes. She must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Find her. 
The signal's coming from the castle from the back pad. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Marit! Marit! Marit, wake it's up. Me. Yes, wake up. Do you hear me? Dr. Marit? No. No vital Thank functions. You. What's I need two. One. Two. Three. Come on. Come on. One. Two. Nothing. Don't do this to me, Matt. Don't. Please. Everything will be fine. All fine. Cobble's next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. Do you think? Cosmo. Let's not assume the worst. You'll find it, Doctor. Alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Koval? Koval! His eyes are so empty. Just like Crouch's. Koval! What the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crowder's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Yasna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Cobble on board, I want you to do something. 
Jasper. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. No, not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them. But it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's a... Uh... Nothing about Dr. Gorski. Ah, found them. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Koval to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. Got him. When you're there, put Dr. Cobble in the seat. I'll connect a central box through the man as well. Haven't you rebooted yet? No, not quite. But it will work now. The land is already descending. The scent is proceeding smoothly. Don't worry. Everything's falling apart here. I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or magnetic phenomenon. Uh, wouldn't something like that show on the charts? All those measurements Gorski took? I remember. Maybe he made a mistake. Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. Shouldn't I go back for Marit's body? No. No, there's no need. I just regained control of the Androbot, so please, leave it to me. You did everything you could for a doctor. Now, Dr. Gorski needs your help. I'm leaving the excavation site. 
hell did he come down? signal so soon it's unlikely to be him then who uh, not who but what oh, it's weird dr gorski hardly ever parted you were correct sir it's just our probe it looks inactive can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal i'd say it's running in safe mode please try to power it on do we have time for this it's for a good reason doctor the probe could prove useful in the search and besides You'll see. Okay. I'm opening the probe. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malis, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. Wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. I, I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? slide there's mostly noise nothing in particular stands out to you doctor they were digging and suddenly poof people are dead no need to shout astrogator i'm just letting you know what i see that's all uh, hang on an absurdly high electromagnetic field reading that's something sort of what are the earlier readings checking Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. in a matter of seconds but there's there's nothing except dunes sand a few rocks a shadow shadow another sandstorm i guess all right doctor let's move on you may turn on the fuses now we'll take the probe with us to the probe. And? What do you see? 
Is it working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh, it'd be nice to have some company. I, I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. That's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Please enter Luna. L. U. N. A. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. see these metal structures anywhere. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. Huh. I guess I found the first point. You guess? We have to be sure, Doctor. Well, I'm at the first clear branching of these structures, such as reported by Dr. Gorski. All right. What happened next? He followed the branch to the right. Another thing he reported was a massive vertical structure. detected something. I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? Well, the structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. Well done, Luna. I knew I could count on you. Well, we didn't bring it to the surface for no reason. Even in the first stage procedure. And now I'm going to apply for my own. As soon as you find Dr. Gorski, I'll see to it myself. All right, how about that point? What does it look like? What caught the doctor's attention? of like scaffolding set up underground. Inside the ground, actually. Uh, an unusual structure shape? Definitely. Do you think someone actually built it? Well, it's a far-fetched theory, but it seems so. The next point, the third one, is a metal bundle running along the bottom of some water reservoir. An object as such should be easy to locate.
little bundle? As expected. It's at the bottom. Before you ask, sir, there's little to say about it. All right. So how many are left? Uh, two points. Or at least that's what he told Koval. What he did next? It's hard to assess. Well, the battery and the detector last for only a few hours. So he couldn't have gone much further. The fourth point is a structure that fills a rock massive, on top of which he found surface structures. Uh, sounds like a crucial node in this whole system. some tangible evidence that he was going this way. Good. It's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. Definitely uphill. What if I don't find him at all? You will. Just follow his tracks carefully. According to our records, it's been no more than six hours since he was here. Think about it, Doctor. On a cosmic scale, it's nothing. Well, on a human scale, it could mean the difference between life and death. I think we have the fourth point. I confirm. It's a fourth one. I see our flag. Structures undergo noticeable changes here. If it keeps growing at this rate, I don't know what I'll find at the end. What kind of growth are you talking about, Doctor? Depth, width, <laughs> complexity level? In every aspect. Interesting. Do you think these veins lead somewhere? To something? I'm leaning more and more towards that conclusion. But I can't tell what we might expect at the end, if it ends at all. Parting. Yes, they're on their way. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. Certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away.
reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Koval and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wait. Koval noted down the parameters. Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. Got it. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Um, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Uh, it's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. This probe of ours. They can not fly for this long. Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, that's not exaggerate. I don't know. For me, it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators. The only question is when. Machines will surpass us, but not today. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> can you imagine us? Proteinaceous creatures developing so quickly, sir. No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. <laughs> you started to fear for your position. Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? Well, if we assume that they'll surpass us, things will get complicated. Because in order to program a brain with computing power equal to that of a human, you need a brain with computing power higher than that of a human. Ergo, a man cannot make a machine smarter than a man. Then who else would design it? Self-learning algorithms? Some spontaneous process? Or pure chaos? Something inhuman. That's for sure. Shh. Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, no, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. The 
These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary brush-like formations. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Please continue your search. We have to find him. You may lose another crew member. If you think so. Turn back now. Uh, no, I won't. The line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. I repeat, Hopper has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. Outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. Huh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. I'm inside. And? How is it? Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened, but that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. Well, then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. Astrogator, I think... I don't know what we expected. Coming here at the end of our expedition. The equipment is barely working. If it works at all. And you, sir. You barely escaped alive. 
Okay, I admit that we have a very successful campaign behind us, but I feel like we've used up all our luck. And now, we're asking for trouble. It's just one planet too many for us. Which doesn't change the fact we're here. Let's focus on completing this mission. There won't be another. Where does this certainty come from, Astrogator? HQ can send us as many directives as they please, justified or not. I won't let that happen. We have the Imprimis Homini law to refer to. The Commonwealth cannot achieve its goals at the expense of the people. At the expense of my crew. But... Isn't that exactly what's happening? This situation is bad, Astrogator. Though it wasn't much better at the beginning of the mission. Whoever sent us here didn't care about our safety at all. Enough! Please don't put me in an even more difficult position. Rejecting a new mission and questioning the validity of the current one are two different issues. And you're one step away from disciplinary action, Doctor. Copy that. Over and out. Whoa. You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. I have an object in sight. This is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis. Meaning... Where they call that fish, right? Mm, yeah. They stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Copy that. Heading east. Of the crew? I found a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. That, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor. But the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis 3's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in the scenario. Negligible, actually. Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. You say, yes, sir. The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. <sighs> Always? Are we really that self-right? Excuse my interruption, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This rate will reach the camp within an hour. So, continuing. Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves, whoever they will be. In the end, the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything alien to us just because we can. Doctor, interference is at the heart... <sighs> this route may be faster. But it's not the easiest. Anyway, back to our conversation. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, we have a nasty nature. I can't argue with that. Structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Oh. I found 
cautious. Suddenly. That's not it. I feel darkness. Are you there? Over. I guess that's a no. What's going on, sir? Astrogator? Dr. Yasna. I tried to resuscitate him, but... No, please. Koval? How? There was nothing wrong with him. Hypervolemic shock. He bled out during the flight. I still don't understand. He wasn't hurt. His injuries must have occurred later. I found him like this when I entered Hopper. I I'm sorry. It's on me. It it's my fault. No, Doctor. As Commander, I take full responsibility. But it was me that left him. On my order. You're too hard on yourself, as usual. Uh, if only I... Stop it, really. Please, stop. If is a very cruel word. You don't deserve its torment. Guess I know where Gorska was going. I confirm. Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> but why hasn't he yet? <sighs> Going down after him. <sighs> Tell me one thing, sir. What did you do with Crofter's body? I placed him in a quiet chamber. Are you going to use a grave tapper? Considering that as a possibility, what is your opinion? Should we look into their heads? with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. <sighs> Can you go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight? No, not a chance. What if you sway? I, I can just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fool on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking, if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything... Yeah, we don't know that, Yasna. He could keep going even with injuries. Well, I'm not hanging here forever, if we still haven't come up with anything. 
There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. Astrogator, as much as I love complex analysis, I'm really sick of all this hanging. <laughs> of course. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right, let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. One meter forward. Uh, it's still too far. I'll try one more meter then. Say so? I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. this afternoon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. He didn't take a tent. Damn. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Uh, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you joking? Lost himself. Gorski. We may not have a spot for the young man, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. Should we look into the ground by the fire? I think he must have discovered something. And since he suffers from excessive ambition, he's capable of stupid acts in the name of a breakthrough.
I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Over lead. His footsteps. Oh, finally. I found some abandoned items. What items? What do you have there, Yasna? Something he shouldn't have left behind. A telemeter and food rations. Agreed. He shouldn't. It's illogical. I can see the relay up close. It looks broken. This is starting to look like a deliberate diversion to me. Uh, you may be right. The question is, who's behind all these disruptive activities? That I don't know, sir. There are more traces, this time handprints, and a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you're frightened, Doctor. No one of sound mind would decide to go down this way. And yet Gorski... I found something. Again. Uh, more of the same stuff. Gorski's things. More traces. Fine. Actions devoid of logic. You reported Marit's abandoned things. A backpack and a journal, yes. This scene looks disturbingly similar.
Status? What's new? <laughs> well, nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Huh? Right. Thank you. Finally! I have his position. Okay. Not yet. Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still not. Yeah. Almost there. Gorski! Gorski! Look at me! His eyes are closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? No reaction. He seems unconscious. Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. <sighs> okay. Let me just... Uh, I'm... I'm uh, pulling him... Uh, out. <sighs> Done. He's out. <sighs> I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? Uh, no point. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The Brub will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The Brub calls us to provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I won't allow it, Yasna. If you faint, the doctor won't carry you. The membrane looks intact. What did you say? I didn't hear. Hold on, Gorski. You're still on you, Doctor. Please repeat. Don't be angry, sir, but... But what? Please go ahead. After... Co after careful consideration, I gave Gorski my tank. We still don't know when you'll send the lander, so I, I can't leave him without oxygen. Doctor, I explicitly told you not to. Never mind. It's so hard to you know, you're both Of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start receiving Gorski's signal. <laughs> there it is. Pulse, heart rate, saturation, almost within the range. Now, mark the place for the lander, and we're home, Doctor. I'm on it.
cosas. Atsukaita, hey, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? Please come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Heartbeats racing. But saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. Not yet, at least. Of water, probably unsafe for consumption. I'd rather not risk it. Meteoric waters. <clears throat> nah, too deep. Let's hope it's not fossil. Otherwise, I'll never <gasps> reach the surface. Slippery terrain. Poor visibility. Considering all factors, situation hopeless. At least I got flat. Oh, come on. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. anywhere until you tell me how you got here. We really don't have time for this. It's not safe here. Please, Yasna, stand up. So much for the rescue.
Koval, say something. I can't stand this silence. Do what? Talk over your feelings. There's no shame in being a brave. Don't worry. I'm at risk of dehydration, hypoxia, poisoning. It's no wonder I'm afraid. I already admire you. You know, I'm proud and rather worried at the same time. What you did for Gorski, well, I wouldn't be able to do that myself. I don't know why I left him my tank. Gorski is dead anyway. Uh, don't say that. We will return for him. Something attacked me up there. Oh, it probably got him too. Then we'll ask Novik. The old man monitors our parameters. Uh, he only tells us what he deems fit. You know that, Koval. Uh, yeah, I do. Still, you did the right thing. Oh, maybe I did. But I was stupid too. A complete failure of reason in an act of futile heroism. Uh, is your equipment operational? Nothing damaged? Only the flares got wet. Hey! Hey, don't go so fast! I need to rest. One more hill. <laughs> enough. Just enough. Forward, Yasna. Faster. We're racing against time. Come on. We're fighting for our lives, Yasna. Enough of this nonsense. I'm sick of fighting. Okay, Yasna. I'm sorry. I demand so much from you. Too much. A moment ago, you said we'd be fine. And now you're letting me off so easily. Oh, it's not easy for me. Not at all. I'll be here with you until the end. Remember, none of this is your fault. You deserve to finally rest. Oh, don't feel sorry for me, Koval. You know how much I hate it. I do. You keep telling yourself that you don't deserve even the slightest compassion. Like I said, I'll be here. I only wish I could somehow comfort you. I'm getting up, okay? I knew you would find the strength. You just needed a little encouragement. Don't push it. Yeah, I can do it. I will not give up. I never doubted it. <clears throat> Thank goodness. See? You made it. My whining did some good, didn't it? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I kind of did. Do you see this? Well, if you're talking about the coal deposits and the bones of prehistoric reptiles, then yes. They're further up as well. Finally! We have proof! Millions of years ago, there was life on the surface of Regis Three. Uh, is it really such good news? Now, for some reason, there's nothing, you know. Not even bacteria or... Viruses? I'm starting to suspect that someone or something prevented organisms from moving ashore. Perhaps it stopped them from leaving the water. If so, I think it stops them to this day. In other words, it's still here, and it nips all manifestations of life in the bud. Why then have I not met it yet? Yasna, 
I'm afraid you have. You know a lot, Cobble. About what happened to me. About these fossils. The old man told me. Uh, about life and Regis. About you. He's clueless regarding Regis. He only cares about gaining some illusory advantage in this sector of the galaxy. Even more fossils. And now there are no comms. No one will even know about this discovery. Oh, stop being so pessimistic. I really don't like the idea of our bones resting next to these ones. Well, at least an HQ will send another expedition, and they'll find all the bones together. a few steps ahead of me. Simple. I walk faster. Come on. It's time to be among other people again. They're out there, somewhere. I promise. second thoughts. What if something's waiting for me? Something that caused my fall. You want to overcome that fear just like the others. I... I'm here. Over. Finally! Yes, sir. You can't even imagine. It's really good to hear your voice again, Doctor. Sir... I saw Kovel. Yes, sir. Are you saying... what? Uh, I don't quite understand myself. suspicion of what exactly we're dealing with. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. Antimatter. Oh, fuck. Yes, indeed. Any progress? Do you still have a visual on the object? I seem to be in luck. It behaves as if it's searching for something. And completely ignores me. Uh, if it has no thermovision, it might not register your presence at all. I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. The greater the distance between you and this machine, the better. I wonder what it's looking for. And why is it shooting at these structures? In my opinion, we're dealing with a defective. 
The alliance had been searching the area. They wouldn't have sent a lone Nazi man to do it. It's... I can see a passage. But it doesn't look very... inviting. Oh, anyway. Yep. Shit! What? It's still here. I have to... I'm stuck. I can't move. Oh, it's coming at me. Antimat. It suddenly stopped moving. It's inactive. I think so. I'll check. I guess it's busted for good. Cursed crap. Oh, the hatch fell down. Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. You guess right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a fill base. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, the Invincible is not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. Distracted the antimat. You say that as if it did it on purpose. How else to explain it? Coincidence? I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. left of it. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its core. <gasps> Hot. You could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. I'm sorry, Asna. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've... I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. Not down here. Ah. 
Okay. Hit cool down. Are you talking about the pro call? Huh. Well, they say in order to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Okay. 